robot strawberry picker. Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. They're called Agrobots, and for at least a decade, they've tried to harvest strawberries. They are individual robots. They're trying to change to be robot pickers. I'm sorry, industrial robots. In 10 or more years, they've come a long way. Let's take a look at these robot strawberry pickers. And if you're in the strawberry in business, I'd like to update you. Most likely, in your, if you're in the strawberry business, you already heard of these robot strawberry pickers or agrobots. Well, this video would try and update any knowledge you have about the robot strawberry pickers. At first, they thought they'd just grab a bundle of strawberries and throw them in a container. But all they did for several years was destroy the strawberries. They weren't real robot strawberry pickers, more like robot strawberry mashers. Of course, that couldn't come on the market, so maybe you wouldn't have heard of them 10 years ago. So they started concentrating on plucking strawberries instead of just grabbing bunches of strawberries. So the robot needed both sensory to identify the strawberry itself and have a robot strawberry hand of some sort. But even with a robot hand, it continued to mash and destroy strawberries. At this point, you may be asking, why make a robot stra uh, pick strawberries? You have to look at the logistics of a strawberry. It's a fairly large fruit, yet somewhat sturdy, yet somewhat delicate. So it's a perfect coming together of something that could take at least some rough handling, but it wasn't so sturdy that it could take what an orange could take. A citrus harvester doesn't require a robot at all. It's a mechanical machine and knocks the fruit into a huge container. And while that's great to keep labor costs next to zero, there are tons of other fruits that are labor intensive and costly and require super delicacy. So if they could come up with a robot that could harvest strawberries, that could then apply to all the more delicate fruits. So they came up with the alternative to a robot hand to pluck strawberries, and the latest models have robot arms ending in suction to suck the strawberries down a tube. But in the last couple of years, they have come up with the realization that strawberries don't mature all at the same time at once. So again, they needed to perfect robot senses to detect ripe strawberries and to differentiate ripe from unripe strawberries. So now, with robot sensors, they also harvest ripe strawberries and use suction to harvest the ripe strawberries. Currently, it stands that the robot fairly handle the strawberries, the robots identify only the ripe strawberries, and the robot uses suction to harvest the strawberries. So what's the problem now? Too slow. While robots can perfectly harvest strawberries, some robots take an entire minute to harvest one strawberry or even more. Let's all for a second pretend we know nothing about harvesting strawberries, but we know about enough the strawberry fields can be massive. How long and expensive would it be to sit there and let a robot take one minute per strawberry to harvest an entire field during harvest season versus human who can harvest 200 strawberries per minute? As it stands, humans still outweigh robots in value almost 100 to 1 when harvesting strawberries as a huge side note, a lot of farmers have bowed to technology and started hiring black people to harvest strawberries. Oh, that's not the technological advance. The technological advance is putting the black men on mobile harvesting platforms. While the black men are more expensive than immigrants per hour, they're also two or three times more productive and you don't hire have to hire as many and communication is far more efficient since they speak perfect English. So they have mobile strawberry harvesting platforms going up and down the rows at the pace of a slow walk, harvesting the entire plant of ripe strawberries. Also, since the black men are a foot taller or more than the immigrants, they can reach the top of plants without any extra assistance or necessary accommodation when harvesting larger plants, such as in orchards. As it stands now, mobile harvesting platforms with tall black men are the current state of the art. They are the most efficient and most cost effective and they are far less time consuming. 
While researchers are still hard at work with the robot strawberry harvesters, they are just not ready right now. The robots still can't find the strawberry fast enough to even harvest a strawberry, let alone distinguish ripe strawberries from unripe berries. The big problem is that strawberries hide behind leaves. So, the robot has to detect the strawberry to begin with, and if it's hiding behind a leaf, the robot can stall. Have any of you looked into buying or leasing a robot strawberry picker or harvester? Tell me down below. Like the video and subscribe if you haven't. I will continue all of these industry robot things also.